All right, Section 3, Air Conditioning and Refrigeration, Chapter 6, Inspection and Maintenance of the Refrigerator and Apparatus, All-Purpose of the Refrigerator Cars, Part 1, Recommendation, Practice for the Inspection and Maintenance of the Refrigerator and Apparatus. Introduction, the maintenance of the procedure has been set up at the base of the pre-trip for the four month two year rather than only on an, hour basis, on an hourly basis. The use of the time rather than an hourly basis is desirable. As hours, meters are not dependable, they do not present true operation refrigeration apparatus. It is recommended that the stencil badge plate adjacent to the refrigeration apparatus, each mechanically refrigerator car, information relative to the refrigeration system, refrigerate charge quality, Quantity type of the compressor oil to be shown. The data is invaluable, valuable, and the data is invaluable. The service of horse when it's called upon with the service card eliminated. The necessity reference to the service manual securing information for the car owner. Car records should be prepared. Each owner posted to the engine compartment. Pre-trip inspections. Engine alternator. F fill the fuel tanks. Um, drain the consolidated with the fuel filter. Hosing in the fuel tank. Some clean oil, air, clean car body filter and grills. Clean engine compressor compartment. Check the cooling water. Maintain a 50-50 solution of water and antifreeze. Check the engine lube oil for the engine crankcase. Check the oil injection pump. Use the engine oil lube. Check the oil engine governor. Check the engine... Clean the engine carburetor, the air cleaner, replace the oil, use the engine, engine lube oil. Inspect connections between engine and the carburetor, air cleaner, and air intake manifold. Inspect the rubber radiator hose connection, lubricate the water pump, clean the air box drain, breather, make sure they are open when the elements are applied, clean B, the element, check all the belts, wearing alignment, tautness, check the manifold, escape, exhaust piping, and leakage, supply the cold weather with starting air cartridges. 17 clean, inspect the spark plugs, ignition points, TK, inspection all the wire terminals, and set the engine runs normally so no fuel or oil leaks noted. Inspect the service generator, slip ring, communicator brushes. Check the operation engine protective devices, B, refrigeration. Check the terminal connection wire relays, proper the electrical connections, and, uh, Check the electrical plugs receptacle connection, connection. Check all the motors the correct direction of the rotation. Check all the motors bearing of the noise. Check evaporation mid drain pipe between A and B. Unit should the heat be power switch on is on in position of whack. Check the check the evaporated drain drain pipe with the water seal. Check the compressor oil level with the compressor warm. Check the refrigeration level with the receiver of the system. Check the bullseye of the dehydrator for the indicated moisture of the system. Check the operation liquid solenoid valve. Check the operation compressor high low high low pressure switch. Check the time the delay relay the proper operation. Check the fixed label flexible couplings engine compressor motor compressor oil unit and some vibration wearing. Check the bolt alignments wearing tension. Check the condition V holy. Check the battery gray, gravity solution height blocking. Also check the battery box shut. Some mounts when you use lubricating evaporator fan shelf seal when where she shaft presses through the evaporator bulkhead. Check fifteen. Check the operator compressor inlet and pressure relay regulating valve. Chapter six sixteen six. All right sixteen. Make certain the compressor is unloaded with starting the TK on a washer and thermo king units. Check the defrost cycle during the pull down. Complete the task. Shut off the refrigeration gates back seat. This all service inlet and all service valves. Initiate the defrost manually. Observe the operation of the defrost timer to defrost termination. Switch and control relays. Check the thermometer, the thermometer, and the mercury thermometer. Determine the temperature indicated the matter. Here, the refrigerator and apparatus operation may certain that all components function properly as final. Inspection visually. Inspect all apparatus. Check all the fuse circuit breakers and pilot lights. Apply one of the set of the spare fuse to the bring car record for the logging up, look up, log book up to date. All right, your four-month inspection. In addition with all the items of the pre-trip inspection, the following inspections are made every every very made very every three four months. Engine all engine engine alternator. Clean the permanent fuel oil. Is replace the disposable fuel oil filters. Clean permanent lube oil filters. Replace disposable lube oil filters. Clean the Clean the lube oil filter, retain them both at metering office IHC. Remove the clean oil oil lever regulator straining bolt. Clean the engine lube oil, use approved oil, lubricated oil linkage. Um, clean the crank case breather and replace oil, use engine lube oil. Clean the outside of the engine radiator with the compressed air coolant. Check the operating emergency valve, fuel cutoff valve with the oil pill, pull rings. Check the valve lash and the valve tap it adjustment. Check the injector's timing. Check the valve pump, fuel pumping timing. Check the injector nozzles. Remove the clean inspection. Lubricate the starter motor. Check the charger. Charging start rate. Check, inspect the carburetor needle seat and the float. Check the ignition time. Lubricate the distributed rotator and three drops. Check the automatic check. So, 
Choke setting, check the government micro switch operational travel, man check the manifold exhaust piping, then leaks, check the fuel pump reserve. I'm sorry, fuel pump pressure, check the manifold heater assembly, check engine speed, check the rhodonetic filter, blowing fan filter with the press air, clean the inspection distributor cap, inspect make take, certain that the shutter mechanism operates, inspect the clicks on the unit with the cranking current circuit, check the oil and the fuel pump, injection pump, shoe the, shoes the engine lube oil, remove the clean screen with the fuel transfer pump, clean the primary primary fuel pump strainer, remove the fuel pump strainer screen, inspect the holes, or, inspect for holes or clogging, lubricating, generating, um, bearing, check the proper... Uh, check the power receptacle blow out, uh, out and alternator make repairs if necessary renew renew brush to check fuel boiler relay check latch stop relay and check fuel um fuel resistor eight or sorry d revel refrigeration one grease not sealed evaporator fan building bearings wash evaporator coils with the top of the water top to bottom with water blow with compressed air inspect flex the flexible duct and the condenser fan exhaust inspect condenser fan condenser fan blades with the crack plug blow condenser coils with compressed air grease and non sealed condenser fan with an ideal pulley and, and bearings fill the compressor throttle with the compressor oil um, TK, um, check the refrigeration pipe thermal bulb clamps, make sure that all the clamps are right, apply the new hydration, dehyd apply the new dehydrators, and if the refrigerator leaks oh, is found in the system has been open. Alright, 10, open, um, checking operating signal, the defrost timer, the uh, defrost air switch, check the electrical circuit with the ground blow out of the electrical apparatus with the compressed air, check all the securing mounting bolts, shock mounts on all motors and apparatus, check all the pipe conduity plans, check the compression coupling alignment, tightness of the shaft, check the rolling mechanism of the proper operation, check the refrigeration system for leaks and leak detector, examine the flexible hose vibration eliminators, check the suction pressure of the test gauge, check the discharge pressure of the test gauge, check the motor amperage of the all motors, check the heater coil with the drain Heating pipe heater record the volts and ampers. All right, two year inspection. In addition, with all the items pre trip, pre trip, and four month inspection, the following inspections are made every two years. Your engine alternator be inbound inspection for the engine alternator. Note all the defects. Check the compression pressure for the engine pressure indicator. Remove the check oil pressure of the engine temperature control and reset the engine as per existing instructions. Blow out the compartment of the radio with the compressed air. Inspect the renew of the U belts if necessary to drain the cooling system. Oil coolant shall be disposed of. Check the condition of the shocking mounts for the engine. Replace the defective show or with the shock absorber on the engine. Wash and wipe down the top of the deck and crankcase. Make the top complete top deck crankcase air box inspection, noting the each of the condition. Um, condition of each check the position and the ring liners and all bearings test the fuel injector tighten all the mountain bo mounting bolts check the timing of the engine check the rack setting check the setting of the engine governor dismantle recondition if necessary dismantle recondition the carburetor check the uh, setting for the engine overspeed grind valve clean export exhaust ports necessary and remove the exhaust manifold clean the exhaust passage check the water standing aid flush out the oil clean, cooling system clean oil pump strainer remove the clean injector pump screen foot flush out the engine oil of the flushing oil clean the injector pump and add new Oil drain water to the water trap. Renew all water holes. Remove the cooling system thermostat to its proper operation. Dismantle recondition water pump. Dismantle recondition fuel pump. Cheese the check the fuel pump pressure for the vacuum. Renew the spark plugs. Recondition the distributor timer. Check the ignition system. Remove the recondition the battery chain. Arch generator and voltage regulator. Check the voltage regulator for the correct adjustments. Check the glow pump plugs and glow pump circuit. Um, recondition the radiation fa radiation fan motor. Check the operation radiator fan temperature control switch. Re renew the wa fuel and water strain strain screens. Replace the alternator exciter bearings. Recondition the alternator. Close the attention given the condition. Slip ring bashers, brushes and brush boxes. After inspection procedure is completed, place the engine in operation and record no load, full load speed, and no load and full load voltage according to the owner's instruction. E for refrigeration. The refrigeration should be operated with a sufficient period of time to allow allowed all defects in apparatus, including the refrigerator leaks prior to dismantling overall. Clean strainer and liquid line, clean strainer expansion valve, clean expansion valve with remote bulb with the proper insulation and well and clamping the refrigerator line. Check the evaporator close off the evaporator seal. Check the insulation around with the refrigerator line where in place with the insulated bulkhead. Replace the evaporator van sheet van sheet, sheet shaft bearings. Replace the evaporator fan sheet seal. Cre grease the non -seal, sealed evaporator fan motor bearings with grease the non sealed consumer fan motor bearings. Grease the non sealed compressor motor bearings. Check the compressor motor lube oil. 
oil pressure to oil pressure fails to meet the recommended pressure, compressor shall be overhauled. Check the amperage of the evaporator fan. Check the amperage of the condenser fan. Check the answer of the compressor motor. Set the compressor high, um, to high level pressure switch in accordance with the existing instruction. Remove the battery for the capacity test with pressure. The battery box and paint acid resi resistant paint. When the battery is equipped with the shock mounts, inspect and replace the defective shock mounts. When work complete with on the battery of the box, install the battery and block properly. Inspect and clean evaporator coils. Apply a new hydrational new hydrator cartridges and hydrator units. Check the operation of evaporator pressure regulators on both top and the bottom card thermometers. Recalibrate if necessary according to the existing instruction car. Thermostat accuracy operation operation over in the entire temperature control range shall and change. Any change of repair necessary refrigerating pipe that after the repair is completed, lake and test evacuation refrigeration the re vacuum pump recharging system with proper quantity of the prescribed refrigeration. All right, chapter six: inspection, maintenance for red refrigeration apparatus, part two: procedure to clean the refrigeration line of the mechanical refrigeration. Discharge the oil of refrigeration mixture in liquid phase. To remove all the strain and screen. Remove all the operative portions. Reset and seat from the expansion of solenoid valve. Valves. Remove the compressor if burned out. Caution: Do not put the whole put hands in the oil or hand sludge for the system of the bare hands. Clean and replace the suction and discharge line. Reassemble the piping circuit without strain or screens, filters, and internal portion of the valves. Back, back flush the system with refrigerant 12. The alternately inverting the writing of the small cylinder refrigerated container. Exit the system suction side. Reinstall the all skinners, filters, internal portion of the valves. Install the replacement cartridge type. Drill dry cell and liquid line with should be fought off of the valve and the permanent charging of the dry cartridge. The accessory may be made with the permanent part of the system. All connection to the temporary dryer and temporary dryer. The mold one core element capable of straining 90 microns in the section to protect the new compressor. Make all the pipe connection connections to the compressor. Follow the standard procedure of pressure testing, dehydration, evacuation. Um, install the dry cart to the charge system through the dryers. Operate the compressor at the full load for the period of five minutes. With the carefully compressor pressure the appearance for the oil in the compressor. Crank sight glass showed the oil pressure drum. The oil change with the cool indicator containment. The following procedure must be followed. Isolate the compressor from the system with the remove the crankcase access over the drain. Wash the oil pump screens. Wipe out the crankcase. Clean the terminal's motor leads and best refrain from the pumping the system down before changing the oil in order to eliminate any possible of pumping contaminated oil over into the high side of the system. It may be necessary to operate the compressor under the full load numerous times for a longer period of changing the oil, washing the oil pump screens, wiping out the crankcase, cleaning the terminals, motor leads each time before oil remains clearly and oil pressure remains constant. The system must be checked regularly over the period of 14 to 30 days to observing the color state of the compressor oil and oil pressure performing the above mentioned as work done as necessary. Change the dryer cartridges is often necessary depending on the amount of the containment in the system. When the system is considered free contamination, remove the temporary out suction line dryer and permanent insulation of the suction line dryer is now recommended as a pressure drop across the dryer that will reduce the compressor, compressor capacity. Inspection, maintenance of ref um, refrigeration apparatus, pressure testing, evacuation, and charging and refrigeration system. The pressure testing procedure following any of the repairs after the refrigeration piping units have been completely reassembled, the system must be checked and tested for the refrigeration leaks. The system should be charged with the proper refrigeration and air gas and inert gas must be an anhydrous carbon dioxide. The inert gas used in the test refrigeration system with the gas cylinder must be equipped with the pressure regulator gain to maintain the pressure of 150 psi and not to exceed 200 psi. Failure to use the pressure regulator can be result in pressure above the 100,000 psi in danger apparatus. To charge the system with refrigeration and air gas, the manifold that is used in the vacuum pump may be used to shut off the valve between the vacuum pump manifold to be kept within the closed wall by making the pressure test. The following procedure shall be followed with making the refrigeration system pressure to as contact the three hoses of the three manifold outlets with the back seat of the portion ports of the compressor suction discharge service valve and liquid charging valve. The compressor service is valve that should be off, off the back seat two of the three turns and liquid charging valve open. Connect the refrigeration drum to the outlet on the manifold. If the gauge is not already attached to the manifold, a high pressure test gauge should be used to determine with the pressure of the system. Within all the lines attached, make certain that all the refrigeration lines shut off valves and any manifold outlet valves are open so that the pressure will enter all the parts of the system. Open the refrigeration drum valve allow the approximately 10 pounds of refrigeration to enter the system until the system is pressure is exactly is approximately 5 psi gauge. Close the manifold outlet valve, refrigeration drum valve, remove the hose, the refrigeration drum, and connect the internet inert gas cylinder. 
Open the valve with the gas cylinder, set the pressure regulator for 150 PSI, open the manifold outlet valve with allow the pressure to system to build up to 150 PSI gauge, maintain 150 PSI pressure, leak test at all piping joints and components pressure, parts of the refrigeration system with hand with the hal dial leak halide leak detector equivalent. If any of the leaks are detected, the refrigeration and the gas must be discharged to atmosphere before repairs are made. After the repairs are made by the system must be pre be pressurized, tested and leak tested again. Never attempt to make pressure repairs with the system under pressure as an explosion could result after it definitely um determined that there's no leaks in the refrigeration system discharge all the refrigeration and the gas to the atmosphere all right evacuation procedure following the pressure leak test all moisture and air must be evacuated from the refrigeration system before starting the evacuation system the temperature must be 70 degrees fahrenheit or higher with the ambient temperature lower than 75 degrees fahrenheit sufficient heat to be applied with the evaporated condenser and compressor to maintain a temperature of 70 degrees fahrenheit above the, during the evacuation procedure new dryers must be installed with the system before evacuating procedure is installed the following procedure shall be followed when evacuating the, evacuating the refrigeration system connect three hoses of the three outlets with the manifold using the vacuum Pump the backseat port of the compressor suction discharge section valve the liquid charge valve other than the valve provided in the system. Backseat um, both compressor service valves and close the liquid charging valve. Open the shutoff valve between the back pump and the manifold. Open the three manifold outlet valves and with to the three hoses to make certain that all the outlet valves are closed. Attach the vacuum indicator to the manifold outlet bolt and leave the valve closed. The valve should be closed except when reading the indicator is to be taken. Always close the valve between the vacuum pump and the manifold before stopping the vacuum pump. Starting the vacuum pump, opening the values of the manifold outlets. Operate the pump until the vacuum indicator shows the temperature of 20 degrees Fahrenheit. When the vacuum indicator will not come down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, the vacuum pump is defective and there is leaks in the lines and the connections. Turn off the compressor valve to two or three times on the back seat and open the liquid charge valve. Make certain that all the refrigeration line shuttle valves are over open and if unavailable to evacuate both sides of the system. Solenoid stop valves must be energized and open manually make sure that there is no check valve that be obstruction preventing the actuation of the complete system the vacuum pump should be operated but until the vacuum indicator is down to 30 degrees 35 degrees fahrenheit the choose close the valve close the valves and manifold stop the vacuum pump leave the manifold valves open and the next to the temperature rise the vacuum indicator of the temperature rises should not exceed two degrees fahrenheit in 30 minutes if the temperature rises does not exceed two degrees fahrenheit break the vacuum with either Anhydrous carbon dioxide, nitrogen, or refrigeration. Refrigerant. The inert gas of refrigeration should be added to the system. The end outlet valve is being manifold. If the end used outlet is not available, to close the valve with the vacuum indicator with the attached to the gas refrigeration drum hose to the S outlet to charge the system with the approximately 10 psi gauge pressure. When adding in, adding adding gas to refrigeration, the three lines of valves in the system must be opened, and the valve before, between the vacuum pump and the manifold must be closed. Disconnect the hose of the gas refrigeration drum. Open the manifold outlet valve to allow the charge to escape the atmosphere of this valve to remove any of the moisture that must be in the system. To reconnect the valve indicator of the start vacuum pump. Open the shutoff of the valve between the pump and the manifold, and open operate the vacuum pump until the vacuum indicator is down to 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, after reaching the temperature, operated pump for the two pump for two hours. When the vacuum indicates will not come down to 25 degrees Fahrenheit, is indicated the moisture of the system leaks in the system and leak is in, 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 in the evacuating apparatus. Um, when the vacuum indicated with the temperature 25 degrees Fahrenheit is reached for the vacuum pump, is operated with at least two hours with no rise temperature on the vacuum indicated with the excavation, evacuation procedure has been completed with the refrigeration system is ready for charging with refrigeration. Refer to the instruction for the charging system for the procedure to be followed. All right, refrigeration charging procedure. When charging a system with the refrigeration charge, the line must always be equipped with a dryer to extract any of the moisture from the refrigeration in the drum and the cylinder. The new dryer element must be applied when the charging line is attached to the new drum or cylinder of the refrigeration. After the system has been completely evacuated, close the valve, close the valve between the manifold and the vacuum pump. Stop the vacuum pump. Weigh the refrigeration drum of the cylinder. Connect the charge line and from the refrigeration drum to the cylinder to the one of the three manifold outlets. Purge charging line of the air before opening the main line manifold outlet uh, outlet valve. Open the valve of the refrigeration drum of the cylinder. Open the manifold outlet valve, allowing the refrigeration to enter the system. The all connection refrigeration pressure in the system is equal to the pressure in the drum. Refrigeration will cease to flow. In order to judge the correct change charge of the drum, it should be placed on a scale and refrigeration weighted into the system. 
Close manifold outlet valve with the valve with the refrigeration drum with the refrigeration head seats. The flow of the proper charge that has been applied to disconnect the charge line from the manifold outlet back seat. Um, back, back seat compressor suction discharge service valve with the close of the liquid discharge um Valve disconnect all the lines between the vacuum pump manifold and refrigeration system. Connect the test manifold gauges to be back seat ports. Compressor suction discharge service valve with the compound gauge on the suction side and the high pressure gauge on the discharge side. The proper procedure is to be followed with the application of the test manifold gauge assembly to the compressor is as follows. Connection line of the high pressure gauge to the back seat port of the discharge service valve. Make certain that the connection is tight. Connect the line with the compound gauge to the back seat portion of the service suction service valve. Leave the connection loose to permit the purging of the air from the test manifold assembly. Make certain that the valves are test manifold are closed and all spares outlets or test manifold are tightly capped. The gauges are on the test manifold will register the pressure of the test manifold valves open and closed. The refrigeration of the system is under the pressure will register on the high pressure gauge with the discharge service and the valve stem is screwed into two turns off the back seat position. On both of the test manifolds to allow the refrigeration to flow through the test manifold and lines purging all the air through the loose connection to the suction service valve the back seat port. After lights the thoroughly purged and tightened the connection and suction service valve the back of the seat port and those in this way no way air will be drawn into the system should be the vacuum on the suction side. Alright, close both valves on the test method and take the suction service valve to open the back seat portion of the screwing out system in the terms of open the back of the seat port. Both gauges of the test manifolds are now connected with the refrigeration system. Connect the refrigeration charge li line to the liquid valve back to the seat port of the suction service valve and more refrigeration is needed. Before connecting and tightening the purge charge line, tighten the connection and close the valve with the refrigeration drum. There should be enough refrigeration in the system to allow it to run. However, if it may not be fully charged or more refrigeration should be added to do this, the refrigeration apparatus must be run. If the pressure indicated within the suction and test gauge is 40 pounds over, over 40 pounds, close the auction suction service valve with the screwing it all the way in against the front of the seat. Start the refrigeration system. Allow the refrigeration system to run until the suction pressure drops to 10 pounds. Gradually open the suction service valve, being very careful to have the seat at least two turns to open the back of the back seat. Open the liquid charging valve. Close the receiver outlet valve. The refrigeration will be drawn off the refrigeration drum, the liquid charging valve into the system. So there is sufficient refrigeration in the system. The compressor will be pumped into the vacuum, which will be shut off the compressor low pressure switch. As pressure, the bills will up and again with the system. The compressor will start again as soon as this pressure reaches the cutting and setting of the low pressure switch. Do not tap the block of the compressor low pressure switch and change the setting in the order to compete the compressor running and all the allow the cycle on and off naturally until the enough the refrigeration has been drawn into the system to keep it running. When specified refrigeration charge has been weighed into the system, shut off the valve with the refrigeration drum, close the liquid charging valve, open the receiver outlet valve, remove the refrigeration charging hose cap of the, cap of the liquid charging valve at the hose at the dry end of the refrigeration drum. All right, to test the refrigeration system must be operated with a sufficient length of time to association with all the components that are properly pro performing properly that the compressor suction discharge pressure are normal. At a conclusion, test back seat, compressor suction discharge service valve to tighten the valve stem packing nut and apply the valve stem caps. Remove the test manifold fittings, hose the compressor suction and discharge the service valve back seat port, reapply the plug, plug caps. All right, vacuum indicator. Vacuum indicator consists of a wet bulb thermometer located in the glass tube containing with a pure water, preferably distilled and closed in an insulated protective case. And part of the tube is exposed to allow the reading of the thermometer and opening it is also provided in the case to show the water level in the tube. See figure 1 and 2. When connected with the vacuum pump line, the thermometer will read the temperature of the water in the tube, which is directly related to the degree of the vacuum absolute pressure existing in the tube and the system. The table 1 shows the absolute pressure corresponding to various temperatures. The vacuum reading is are based on 30 inch barometer pressures are given in as and show how inaccurate a reading on a compound compound gauge would be the table one vapor pressures um table temperature 70 60 55 50 45 40 40 35 32 with the absolute pressure in mercury and the vacuum increase in mercury 
Vacuum indicator's delicate instrument must be handled with the car. The indicator must be va vacuum tight in order to give it the true reading. The top of the seal is not strong enough to support the long running of the connection tube. When the instrument is connected into the circuit, the connection tube should be supported through the relief strains on the indicator. When water is used, the indicator should be distilled water with the wick. The thermometer must be clean. The oil contained with the th wick, wick and the thermometer will cause the airiness reading. This is tendency of the oil to be drawn into the indicator with dehydrating pumps shut down. This can easily be prevented by taking following precautions. One, trap the line between the indicator and its point of the connection between the system. Place the valve of the indicator line so that the instrument may be cut off the system of the pump at the time of the shutdown. Three, manipulate the valves in the following sequence. Close the valve in the line to indicator. Shut off the valve between the dehydration pump and the refrigeration system. And shut down the dehydration pump. All right, that's not working out, though. Um... Making the connection of the indicator with the top of the pump and the connection in line in order to oil cannot fill the flow of the gravity of the indicator. I can't read this. Like, it's very shoddy. Um, cut the indicator system during the dehydration, except when the reading is taken, the degree scale quantity of water vapor with the pump must handle less than the possibility of oil getting into the indicator following the wick. Descriptive dehydration pull down curve is shown in figure three. Figure two shows a uh, vacuum indicator with a, and figure three shows a uh, dehydration pull down cycle. Curve, curve, sorry. Chapter seven, heating passenger train recommendations.